I have been teaching Bible class since college, which was a long time ago, and I have been teaching Bible class at Park Plaza since we've been at Park Plaza. I am affectionately called Miss Connie, but my real name is Connie Allred, and I have been at Park Plaza, which will be the new park, since um, 2006, so just about 13 years. God led my husband and I there, and he placed us there for a reason, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I started teaching Bible class with my mom when I was little, um, and she always taught the four-year-olds, so I thought that that's the grade I was going to teach. Um, but when I was in college, I taught older grades, and I really enjoyed them. And so, uh, like we said, as soon as we got to Brookside, there were needs, and we just signed up and started filling them. It was a really good opportunity for us to both jump in with everybody kind of meeting each other and, and figuring out where everybody was fitting. It was actually beautiful timing for us. Being a teacher has fulfilled something within me. Um, the blessings of building these lifetime relationships. I'm teaching children of children, and hopefully children of children of children. And I never stop that relationship. I love walking beside these kids as they become young adults, and I, I'm interested in them. They fulfill me. They bring me an inner joy that I don't know that anything else can. Uh, I love, let me say that again, I love being called Miss Connie. I am a Bible school teacher. This is where God has me placed. This is the gift that He gave me, and I am not done yet. I have to say that my, my biggest growth happens when I'm teaching. Uh, those moments when uh, I'm thinking about what I'm going to teach on or the subject, that it burrows deep into my heart and uh, starts working on me. It's uh, something that God does in a very personal way in my heart, so I, I don't want to let that go. It is absolutely important that we continue to stay involved. Uh, I think there might be a misconception that, hey, we're all coming back together and I know so-and-so teaches this class always and this person teaches this class always, but there is such a huge need as we come back together. All these opportunities are going to be unfolding and I know for both of us it's an exciting time to think about all the different things that we could be doing and involved with, especially with teaching classes. The opportunities for growth, for holding new events and bringing and inviting more children in, I was giddy. Without a doubt, I was so excited that anybody that was around me knew that it's they, I mean, it was, how are we going to contain Miss Connie? You know, I'm, I'm so excited. The opportunities are endless. We will raise up more generations, and we will set South Tulsa, Broken Era, Big Speed, all of that area on fire with these kids. I know that uh, the move is a big deal, but I don't want us to miss the call. The call is to go into all the world and teach the gospel to everybody. And uh, that doesn't leave anybody out. And the going part is everybody. It's, it's everybody at every branch. And the fact that we get to come together, there's gonna to be challenges. There's gonna to be toes stepped on, but it's an opportunity to show grace. It's the opportunity to show forgiveness. It's the opportunity to be patient. And it is at, at those times that I think that those spiritual gifts are cultivated. And you get to grow in your ministry and you might be involved in something that you had no idea was an even, a, even a possibility, but it's being there, allowing it to work on you and being changed. In the process of being changed forever, you never know what God's gonna do through you.